You want wallpaper, but not the pain of putting it mm. up, right? Taking it down or even paying for it. You can have it all. Yeah, it's a ton of work, right? <laughs> Consumer expert Amy Davis is showing you how in day three of our series, home projects to DIY for Amy. Yeah, how to have it all. Okay, this is not a new trick, but it's a time-tested technique to get some color on your walls and it's less expensive than that peel and stick wallpaper. All you need is liquid starch, a paintbrush, and fabric. I grew up in an army family, and my mom's been doing this trick since at least the 80s. And now, yeah, Kingwood mom Claire it? Brom has adorned the walls in almost every room of her home. Custom looks that are completely reversible. Especially in bedrooms and for my kids, you know, right now, we're okay with pastels, but as my kids grow into teenagers, that's not what they're gonna want anymore. So I can have this up for a year or two and then flip it out for something else. This jumbo floral pattern is a tapestry she bought online. It's actually two pieces, but we couldn't see the seam until she pointed it out. The white part is where they're overlapping which when you back up, you're not gonna see that as much. Watch the process from the start. Just pour liquid starch into a bowl. You just take regular thumbtacks and tack him. The tacks hold the fabric up while Claire brushes the starch on, saturating the fabric. I'm going to smooth out the wrinkles. And now my wrinkles are totally gone. She says it dries overnight, and the next day you can use box cutters to cut off the excess top and bottom. I do wanna have some up on my wall because this is what I'm going to slice off later with an X-Acto knife. Now for the real magic. This tapestry has been in Claire's laundry room for a year. She's renovating and ready to remove it. I'm just gonna grab a corner that I've lifted off and give it a light pull. And that's it. The wall is in perfect shape. If it looks a little cloudy from the starch, you can wipe it with a wet sponge or cloth to remove the haze. And the fabric can be washed and used again somewhere else. I think it's great for renters. I've done it on cement painted walls in a dorm room. Um, so if someone needs that for just a semester or a year, I think it's great for the indecisive who want to just have a change of season every couple of years or every couple of months. The cost of this project really depends on the fabric you buy and how much you need. Claire paid $51 for this pattern in her daughter's bedroom and $13 for this design on her bedroom wall. All right, and you can use fabric from anywhere, from Joann's or Hobby Lobby. You can even use sheets if you like a flat sheet and you like the pattern on it, tapestries or decorators fabric. Really anything will adhere with that liquid starch. And on clicktohouston.com, we will link you to one of Claire's favorite places to shop for tapestries. Yeah, I got kind of white knuckled there as she was pulling the tapestry off. I'm like, oh, the wall. Yeah, no, it doesn't damage it. And the difference between the tapestry, the only reason she said she prefers those sometimes is that all of the edges already have hems, you know, so they're like yeah. straight lines already. It's less cutting. Right. You can kind of just put that up in a corner and go.